Who Is It? by Michael Jackson. The Story Behind the Song. Part 2. And it doesn't seem to matter, and it doesn't seem right. Cause the wheel is brought, no fucking still. I cry alone at night. Don't you judge over my composure, cause I'm lying to myself. And the reason why she left me, did she find someone else? Who oh, is it? Production An army of keyboard players features in Who Is It, accompanying the song's resigned tone. A myriad of skillfully mixed sounds materialize and burst forth, sometimes disconcerting or troubling the listener. Brian Loren creates and drives the wonderful sonority of the drums, which lend their rhythm to the weight of the lament, while the short, metronomic notes of Lewis Johnson's bass guitar are superimposed, masterfully distilling the song's melancholy. In March 1993, when Given to Me was destined to be a new single for the U.S. market, its short film was given an exclusive screening during the TV show Michael Jackson shared with Oprah Winfrey. And Slash, who is a dear friend of mine, we love animals and things like that. He wanted to play guitar, and I wanted him to play guitar on it. And we got together, and we went to Germany, and we shot this thing in just like two hours, really. We had no time at all to shoot it. We wanted it to be something exciting and fantastical and fans and you know like it's a, a rock concert mm. and that's we end up that's the result of but after jackson's acapella performance the single was replaced by who is it don't you judge of my composure cause i'm bothered every day and she didn't leave a letter she just up and ran away the single did not take the world's charts by storm nor did it leave a mark in the collective unconscious but it nevertheless retains a very special placey in the hearts of the singer's admirers. The video begins with the camera skimming the Art Deco facades in Los Angeles. A golden but paradoxically cold light highlights the rough or carved stonework, which appears to move thanks to the subtle play of shadows. The camera sweeps through this stony environment as if it were the gaze of a distraught person. In a Gotham city, where the singer could, without a doubt, bump into Bruce Wayne, he laments and rages, seated on his sofa. The source of his distress gradually takes on the features of a ravishing young woman with whom he is deeply in love until he learns that she is, in fact, a prostitute who goes under various false identities. Assisted in her activities by incredibly well-oiled logistics, this beautiful woman charges for her services to numerous rich notables. The frequency of her assignations is shown by a collection of magnificent images. Weary of being miserable, the singer decides to seek a change of scene and boards a helicopter, then a private jet, to flee and try to soothe his pain. The young woman, who has seen the error of her ways, visits his home to try to reconquer his love, but he is already far away. This adventure in Cinemascope comes to a halt with a wide shot, which neither resolves nor soothes the malaise. The video ends in great solitude, as coldly as it began. The short film was shown exclusively on the British TV channel BBC Two, but Michael Jackson rejected the final result and demanded that it be withdrawn immediately from all program schedules. A new version was edited and included in the compilation Dangerous, the short films. The single was released in the United States in March 1993, without a video broadcast on TV. Like Billie Jean and Bad, who is it was used for a Pepsi advertising campaign. Unlike other advertising songs, Michael did not sing the lyrics ringing the praises of the drink's brand. Pepsi Campaign Model Vanessa Sandin plays a dream girl in singer Michael Jackson's newest commercial for Pepsi Cola. Michael starred in a special advert for Pepsi, where he chased a woman through a dream world. Dreams, Michael's co-star for the commercial was actress Vanessa Sandin, who said she had no idea she would be performing with Michael Jackson when she auditioned for the Pepsi commercial. She also danced few steps. Music was taken from the Dangerous album, who was it, song for Pepsi commercial. Pepsi Generation commercial, The Dreams, was shooted on May 13, 1992, directed by Joe Pitka. Filmed at Culver City Studio in California and centered around scenes from Michael's Dangerous album to promote it. Also stars Mishu, the world's smallest man, 
who accompanied Michael on his Hungarian visits, in a costume that Michael designed. Vanessa Sandin is known for Naked Gun, 33 and 1 3rd, The Final Insult, 1994, and Friends, 1994. Music Video The Who Is It short film was released in 1992 and directed by David Fincher, a Grammy and MTV Video Music Award-winning director who has since directed Oscar-nominated feature films, including Seven, Fight Club and The Social Network. The music video was filmed in Los Angeles, California, and the helicopter scene in the video was filmed at the Neverland Ranch. Who Is It was recorded by Michael Jackson in 1990 for his eighth studio album, Dangerous, which was released the following year. Jackson wrote and composed the track, and produced it with Bill Bottrell. The leading lady who take part in Who Is It video is Yasmin Laban. In 1992 she appeared in the Michael Jackson's video Who Is It? Yasmin portrays as the main girl in Michael Jackson music video she acted as the mistress who was cheating on her love interest, Michael Jackson. In 2010 she also appeared in Duran Duran's Girl Panic video along with fellow models Cindy Crawford, Helena Christensen, Naomi Campbell, and Eva Herzegova. Yasmin Laban, born October 29, 1964, is an English model. She was one of the highest-earning models during the 1980s and is also known for being the wife of pop star Simon Le Bon, leader of Duran Duran, with whom she had three daughters, all born in London, Saffron Sahara, Tallulah Pine including Amber Rose following her model footsteps. In 1984, she met Simon Le Bon, lead singer of the new wave band Duran Duran. They married on December 27, 1985 in her hometown of Oxford. In April 1987, she was hired by guests for an advertising campaign. She appeared on the cover of the first American and British issues of Elle and has also been on the covers of Vogue, V, ID, Cosmopolitan, Marie Claire, and Harper's Bazaar. As a model, she has also represented in Taylor, Banana Republic, Bergdorf Goodman, Biotherm, Bloomingdale's, Bonwit Teller, Calvin Klein, Versace, Chanel, Christian Dior, Clairol, Escada, Fillings, Fraser Card, Avon and Gianfranco Ferre. Uh...